All right, this is where I checked in approximately two and a half hours ago. It's the adult daycare, and uh, that was two and a half hours ago. So you clearly can tell that they do a good job babysitting adults. I had a really good uh, California cheeseburger and two Mike's hard lemonades. No, not lemonade, strawberry. Well, strawberries, you know, I don't know. It, was, it tastes like strawberry. And it said Mike's hard something on it. That sounds bad. Never mind. I hope my finger's not in the way again. I seem to have a tendency to do that, you know. All right, let's keep looking at uh, <clears throat> different things out here. And if it were up to me, I'd probably still be at Beer Bellies. I didn't do any arts and crafts, but, uh, <sighs> you know. Okay, so remind me, I have to stop at this place to pick up some tapestries. There you go. If I didn't hate wearing... Uh, T-shirts. I like wearing tank tops, but T-shirts, I don't know. Or if it, like a V-neck T-shirt is fine, but when it goes right up to your neck, it's like, yeah. Don't, don't like those so much. Anyway, not that you need to know that, but now you're in the know. When I get my merch back up, I will uh, I'll put some T-shirts on here. As a matter of fact, we'll come see these people. Yeah, I looked at their knives. Like I told you, I have a thing for knives. Um, last month when I was here for my birthday, and it had crossed my mind to possibly buy one for my birthday. But like I said, you know, the, the blade has to speak to you. So, it's great if they're really pretty, but you know, it has to speak to you. Okay, that one is pretty. That one's pretty too, but I like I like that silver. Hello, how you doing? Oh, doing good. Are you guys here till April 15th? No, till March 17th, the week from today. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right, I gotta go do some business. Hold on. Oh, and I stopped over here too. Ooh, I like that tapestry. Got all the fun stuff that, well, I'm into. Aren't those pretty? Oh, don't you love these things? I saw this a few years ago. Isn't that cool? I like those. I think I even have one or two of those at home. Oh, and I gotta go do some business in here too. I'll be back. This is a grocery store. I think I might have bought something there. You know, I don't know. I can't remember because that would have been like longer than three minutes ago. Well, we'll go this way. All right. All things grateful and random. Yeah, they got a lot of cool stuff in there. Everyone just parks. It's kind of like a fair. Those are some of the flags that I would be into. I don't know if I need the sales flag though, but. Mm -hmm. Hello. Levi. Uh, oh, haircut. I need one of those. Beans, where are you? I haven't had a haircut in almost, probably like 18 months. Good grief. Well, you know what it was, is I went in for a haircut and for a trim. And uh, I got charged 45 bucks for a trim. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And that ticked me off, so I never went back. Obviously, I didn't go back to that place. But I didn't go back. I just, you know, you got to span out that $45. Well, I, the extra 25 I was charged for a freaking trim. Yeah, I'm still unhappy about it. Oops. 
Well, she's doing a haircut. Hey, there's the fire hydrant, if you were wondering. Okay, and looks like a lot of places are just wrapping up. Of course, it's late Sunday afternoon. Well, I guess we'll go back to the car. Where did I check the car? There it is. Okay, we gotta wait for some cars. We are back in the car, as you can tell. Um, we're gonna go um, see the rest of town. Whoops. And that building off to the left there, the RV park and market center, or the, well, that building has a boat ton of games and puzzles and all sorts of stuff in it. So, yeah, so this is like a really big flea market, campground kind of thing going on here. And then we are going to drive through Tyson Wash officially here that, um, floods out when it rains, and so December 22nd, this was a rip-roaring, probably four or five feet deep rapids thing coming through here. I guess I'm crawling up my butt. Here. You guys can see over there. I probably can't see a whole lot, being that it's sunny over there. This is the frontage road uh, for the highway. As you can tell, that is Highway 10. If you kept going this direction on Highway 10, you would go to Blythe, California. And if you went the other way, like where that prime truck is going, um, you go to Phoenix. I haven't actually been to Phoenix yet. I, um, I averted driving through Phoenix on the way down here, um, just north of Phoenix. I skirted around a different route that led me through Wickenburg and then hooked me up to 10, probably about 10 miles east of Quartzsite. That was a, I appreciated not having to drive through another major metropolitan area. Anyway, um, actually on this frontage road, if you kept going uh, with this intersection that we're gonna come up to, I'm not going to keep going, but if you did keep going, you would actually wind up at the last uh, spot that I was at that had all those holes in the ground with those um, steel grates over them. Yeah. Actually, no, no, I'm going to save that for a different video. All right, like I said, I've got all sorts of videos planned. We're going to do, we're going to try to do one a week, or one a week, well, yeah. But the rest of March, I hope to do at least one a day because there's a lot of stuff out here that I haven't yet <laughs> done anything on. Anyway, uh, that Love's Truck Stop is one of the places I take a shower at. And you might ask, well, Kirsten, if you have an RV with, you know, plumbing and all that good stuff, why in the world are you taking showers at a truck stop or continuing to do so well? There is something goofy going on with the water. Like I said, it's, it's an old RV. I am not unhappy that I bought it. Trust me, I really appreciate it. Actually, it still needs a name. My mom has even yelled at me because I don't have a name for it yet. Um, there's a lot of rock shops over there um, on that other corner. And needless to say, once you've seen one rock shop, you've probably seen all the rock shops. And it's probably good that I stay out of any rock shops because, well, <laughs> I like rocks. Okay, here is the north side of the um, interstate on Highway 10 there. That green building, I have been known to eat breakfast there. There is another gem world right there. You can get flags right there. I got my tires there. Actually, they're gonna do my brakes too. But this is uh, a ride down Main Street. I'm sorry, I'm shaking here. There's more shopping stuff there. And if you noticed, um, I'm driving right by, but you can see it, so there it is. All the shopping you could possibly wanna do. Ooh, 
Oh, we gotta go to the High Jolly Monument. I knew there was one something I wanted to do. Okay, we're gonna get over here. And that Woodstock firewood is where I get my firewood. And I've been there for dinner at the, the Yacht Club. All right, we're at the Haji Ali um, Cemetery. Well, cemetery has a uh, gravesite. And he is right under that pyramid there. I will let you read this here. And you might want to pause the screen so you can read it. Jackass mail, that's funny. I'm selling water to travelers just like Wall Drug. Huh. All right, let's go see the, the grave. Now, my guess is when I die, no one's going to stick a pyramid anywhere for me. As a matter of fact, when I pass away, there's probably going to be a party. As a matter of fact, I've got a party planned. It's invitation only. Eh. My daughter knows all about it. Last camp of High Jolly. Born somewhere in Syria about 1828. Died at court site December 16, 1902. So he had quite the, quite the life. Came to this country February 10, 1856. Thankfully, he went to Arizona, not Minnesota. Camel driver, packer, scout. Over 30 years, a faithful aide to the U.S. government. There you go. Erected 1935. Wow. Huh. Okay. Wow. And it's on the National Register of Historic Places. And actually, um, yeah, there's, I have been told that this is still an active uh, cemetery. Oh, this just kind of keeps going, doesn't it? Huh. Uh, we got Charlie and Joseph over there and Amos. I should look at these in the other direction and I can read them. All right, so we have Amos. Oh, 1893 to 23. Oh, he was only 30. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have father. He was a little... Oh, he was fair. Oh, that's, that's under unfortunate. Hmm. Well, all right. Oh, well, there's a path here. Of course, I'm not on the path because, well, I couldn't possibly follow directions. Oh, oh. Buck Connor. I, uh, I'm going to go to his um, celebration. Yeah, Buck Connor days next weekend. So that's one of the things I'll be making a video about. And again, uh, you can pause the video to read this. Here, let me get into a better, there you go. Eighty to 47, so he was 67 years old. Hmm. There you go. I'm so used to seeing, you know, green grass around cemeteries and, oh yeah, don't get much of this. Although it is pretty green out here, that's for sure. Okay, so that is the High Jolly Cemetery.
Elsie right now. Yes, I'm getting used to the road names out here. Knowing where I'm off to and where I'm going. I haven't been further down this road. I suppose we could go down that road. I've never been down there. Hmm. Well, if you took a right right here, you'd go to where I get my mail. But now we're going straight to see what's down here.
So if you went that way, you'd go to Parker, where I was yesterday, buying my groceries, and that's the medical facility there. And another person, or another person, another sign. So now we're heading south. And if you went south this way for about 90 minutes to two hours, you would run into Yuma. Uh, we're on 95, Highway 95 heading south. side of Main Street and I'll show you some other stuff um, and that parking lot right there behind the wrought iron gates they have really big rigs that they come in and park during you know the snowbird season rigs that have price tags of like 150,000 on up which will not happen in my life even if I had the money I don't think I would do it Oh, that building there that says laundromat right on the top of it, that's where I do my laundry. And oh, Roadrunner Market, that's where I get some of my food that I run out. As a matter of fact, I need to get chips. Not now, not today, but. And then that Chevron right there, I have been known to get gasoline there and other ice cream sandwiches. Oh, did I say that? And uh, then right there, there's um, that brown wooden building. Uh, that's Coyote Fresh. That is where the best, best Pico de Gallo is. Oh my gosh, I love their Pico de Gallo. And last two, three times I've been in there, they have been out of it. Oh my gosh. I have yet to go there. It's a bookstore apparently. Oops. been up here a few times and actually um, I have charged at um, back when like I said when my Blue Eddy was on the Fritz I would come up to this um, Arco station up here and charge up and I would also go to the Love's gas station that I showed you on the other side of town earlier today. All right and then I'm going to show you something up here too. Don't you love the name of the road, Briggles? <laughs> um, there is that, see that blue and white building down there? Uh, 
you can pick up, I think it's a gallon of really good fresh water at 25 cents a gallon, I think. Wow, look at that rig. They've, that's a big Lexus rig. Or at least I've got a big Lexus logo. And I'm farting about driving mine. My gosh, that's huge. Anyway. So... So, this is... Alright, so that is the Arco that I have been to a number of times. Isn't that just crazy? West 10, Los Angeles. I mean, you know, don't see that in Minnesota. sorry about the bumping and the shaking and the wobbling around and everything else that this camera is doing. I'm holding it with my right hand. It seems that I drive better with my left hand because it's with the blinkers, you know. Oh, someone went out on the dunes. Fun, fun, fun. Oh, there's a semi behind me. I'm like, what is that noise? Okay, and then you always want to make sure there's no one coming and running a red light while you're driving through. Kind of like that white car did that's in front of me. Alright, so... Yeah, those are some of the rigs down there. But, alright, we're going to go up the hill and then we're going to go back down the hill. And actually, when I uh, <laughs> kind of worried that when I bring my RV in for brakes, I've got to go up and down this hill. <laughs> it's going to be okay. It'll be okay coming back from the break appointment. It's going to be nail biting and more gray hair going to the break appointment. I mean, it's got brakes, but it, there's a faint pull to the right. And when I step on them, and um, it's like have to darn near stand on the darn things for them to engage. Yeah, I don't know when the last time the brakes were fixed. And I, oh, there are those cute little water tanks that I posted on Facebook. There's three of them, two big ones, one little one. Anyway, um, oh, okay. And so that is La Posa West right there. That's La Posa North right there. We are ahead. 
pulled out of here. And actually, that first week uh, that I came back, um, I came back, what, August, August, oh my God, February 5th, and there was just throngs of RVs heading south. I came north up 95 here, and it was just solid line of RVs and trucks and stuff heading south um, out of Quartzsite. I'm like, oh good, I'm going back at the right time when everyone else is leaving. Yay me. Alright, so that was the pose of south on the left where that white truck is. But now I'm across the street in Tyson Wash. Which is also another LTBA. That stands for Long Term Visitor Area. Yeah. And uh yeah, right there, the pose of Tyson Wash. And to stay out here between, what is it, September 15th through April 15th, this year was $180 that entire time. So seven months, yep, over. Seven months, 180 bucks. And then April 15th through September 15th, I wanna say is $75. And um, I don't anticipate being here for that. So there are the mountains. Although I would love to, I don't know if you can see the tracks on them, but yeah, those are all the ATV tracks up there. You never want to go over 20. Matter of fact, if you can stick to 10 or 15, that's probably good. Five is probably even better. One, it kicks up a lot of dust. Two, these rocks out here are not smooth and polished, put it that way. All right, well, thank you for coming with me on my tour about town. I know that was kind of fast. And yes, I did two and a half hours at the adult daycare, Beer Bellies. Um, excellent California cheeseburger and the strawberry Mike's hard strawberries, I guess, because it was a lemonade. All right, I'm going to go in and then we will go on another adventure tomorrow. I have no idea quite yet where we're going, but we're going. There you go. Bye.